Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nope. And today, we are going to get into another hacking video. And today's hacking video is more of a prevention method for an exploit within Android systems that was found a little while ago. Now, as far as things go, uh, the exploit is basically since Android phones automatically process pictures and video when they come in by text message, if a virus is within a picture or video, then it will actually process within the phone. The phone can be taken over and taken full control by a remote user. This causes problems in itself because, well, the actual um, phone is could be fully wiped or really anything can happen. And then if you have government work or say, for example, if you're in a business environment, you don't want trade secrets to get out. So with that in mind, how do you fix this problem? Well, first off, you need to figure out what type of messaging app do you have. And this is just a quick prevention method, by the way. But basically, in any messaging part, you want to go to the settings. I'm going to be using the one that's on my phone, so it will be easier for me to show you. But basically, they're all pretty much the same unless you're using some third party application that you download from the actual store. So first things first, you go into the menu and you go in settings, however you get to settings in yours. But basically you're looking for something called MMS or it's multi-medium message. Once you find that and go into those settings, you want to turn off auto retrieve and that will basically take care of the prevention method now when you open up the text message it will actually try to retrieve it so keep that in mind if you don't know who the person is or whatever may it be then uh, just don't open it up delete it treat it like spam in the email so that's a big, big, big thing to keep in mind. And one thing I would advise you to do on top of this is download the AVAS antivirus tool. I'm not going to say that this will find any viruses or not, but one of the neat features within the this tool is not only it scans for the viruses or potential viruses, but it has a feature in there where if a unknown person text messages you, basically a person that's not in your contacts, then if you just block them in the future or not. Now, of course, there's other methods to block people like that. So what is the ultimate fix of this? Well, it's basically an update. Uh, shortly after this was announced to Google, the Google made a patch, released it, and unfortunately how things work on this side of Playfield with Androids is if the patch goes through, Google has approved it first, obviously it goes out there, and same thing with updates, then the carriers will get it. The carriers have to approve it, and also the networks have to approve it, then it goes to your phone. Here's where the problem lies. Google has done everything they can on their half. The actual phone makers, they have to approve it and also your cell phone network has to approve it before you get it. So one thing that a lot of these makers and also the networks do is they just don't approve it. They don't really, they don't decline it. They just put it in limbo. It, it, it doesn't ever get approved. And because of this, it, or, or they simply decline, which is very rarely, because of this, they figure that, okay, this is an update. If we just don't send it to you, you're going to buy the next phone, either 
from the make or just because you're on a cell phone service then you get the upgrade or you, chances are you will use one of their upgraded phones so they'll get a big chunk of that change so with that one in mind you need to go ahead and call your cell phone network ask them if you even got the update ask them when is it expected to get to your phone if they say they don't know if they say um, they're still waiting if they say anything other than it you have it or a date or they are waiting for the maker of the phone the developer of the phone to approve it then you know your cell phone network is worth crap of course because america if you're in other places same thing applies there you probably don't have a choice of going to go into a network so it's like the internet you kind of are screwed but if you um go to the maker see if they approved it or not and this will tell you who to not really trust anymore because it's not about if a company releases an exploit tv car whatever it happens all the time it's how do they handle it and that's the one big thing that you got to keep in mind when dealing with these technology companies and pretty much any company even cars now that are becoming smart cars and uh, especially since hacks are been found and things like OnStar they get like that and they get back with the uh, white hat the hacker pretty quickly on how to fix it and whereas things like Chevrolet they just don't care and they say they pretty much tell you they don't care in their press releases but anyways as far as that goes if you do have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and i'll try to answer it as quickly as possible and if you like this go ahead and leave a like subscribe share if you don't like this go ahead and leave a dislike but tell me why so i can fix it in future videos but also again feel free to share this so other people will be able to fix this problem because i believe it or not I deal with some government people on the NASA side and they were getting tons of text messages um, because of this exploit and if they hadn't followed these rules then they China or someone else would have got the uh, trade secrets or potentially got them um, but one thing I will tell you is if you do suspect your phone to be hacked or whatever, then most phones will tell you what's taking up the RAM, what's taking up the this and that and the other. And the one thing to do is two things to do really. Turn on and off the phone, but start clearing out apps and stuff. Um, the other thing, I. And again, I haven't really seen if this works or doesn't work, but it's worth a shot using antivirus systems like AVAS. And for those of you who are running Windows or Windows Phone or iPhones, you can get viruses too. Remember a couple months ago with the iPhone and how long Apple, I think it was like a month and Apple didn't really acknowledge it even after hackers were over and over telling them hey this is a problem you need to fix it and then it got so bad that apple had to do something and it took them what a month or two months to fix it yeah everything even your microwave can get a virus anyways again you know what i am and you know what to do if you like this and if you want a uh suggest another video go ahead and leave that down below hope you have a great day